Burnett with Repo Brain. Today we're talking about a Panasonic microwave. And the reason we're talking about this particular microwave is because this particular one uses the inverter technology. This started out with the model S962BF, which this particular one is, which came out a number of years ago. Now they have a new model out, which we'll show you in a moment. But the inverter technology is quite unique to microwaves and provides a much better way of cooking with microwaves than the conventional microwave. So let's look at the new model versus this old one, which we're going to get rid of. This is the model SD986S by Panasonic. This is the unit that you really want to be looking at if you're looking at a serious microwave that will give you some unique technology called the inverter. The inverter should have been invented a long time ago when microwaves first came out because it's exactly the way you want to cook with a microwave. And we're going to get into that in just a minute. Uh, this also has the Genius cooking sensor on it, uh, which we'll talk. So there's two big benefits of this particular microwave. This particular diagram shows the inverter technology and how it works compared to a traditional microwave. In a traditional microwave, you basically have power that goes on and off in spikes. So if you set it for, let's say, 30% power, you're actually getting that 30% power where the high power is turned on 30% of the time. This really causes a burst type power to hit your food and it can make the edges burn or it can cook unevenly uh, and it's not a very efficient way to go about it. The inverter technology actually curves the power down and if we want to represent this with a sound, we can use a white sound and I can show you how this works. In a traditional microwave, we're going, to, we're going to hear some white sound, you're going to get this kind of sound. That's essentially the way the microwave is cooking. It's bursting the energy. So if you put it at 30%, it's going to burst 30% of the time full power. With the inverter technology, you simply dial in 30%, you get 30% steady. So it's like if you put your oven at 350 degrees, it'll stay at 350, not burst 500 degrees and then shut down and burst 500. So that's what the inverter technology does. If you select 70% power, then you're going to get more power and it's going to be constant, not that bursty power. So that's essentially what's happening. This is a good diagram to look at and you can freeze it in your video and kind of study it a little bit. That's what Panasonic's giving you and that's why it's a better cooking technology. In the Genius cooking sensor, which is part of this microwave, it adjusts the power level and calculates the reheating and cooking time automatically based on the amount of steam that's released. So it's actually sitting there watching the amount of steam that's released from a particular item that you put in and then can calculate how hot that food is or how far it's cooked. Kind of an interesting idea. Um, you can use that or you can use just conventional methods. Now let's show this microwave in, in action and how it works. Okay, this is the model in action here. Right here. This is a, they make the chrome version now versus the black. Um, the only disadvantage I don't like about the chrome version, it's a little bit more difficult to keep clean than the black version. Um, door opens up, it's 2.2 cubic feet, plenty of room to cook just about anything in. We've got some water in there right now. Um, all your controls and everything are right here on the side. It has this uh, dial which lets you dial up your time and you can push it in so it's nice and smooth. Uh, if we clear this here, we also have quick minute. We can just click it a couple times and put in one, two, three minutes full power. That's kind of nice if you just want to heat some water or something like that. You can click it real quick and it'll start heating that water. And again, this is going to give it full power. Okay, so it's going to work pretty much like a regular microwave at this point. This is where the inverter part comes in. If we don't, if we want to heat that a lot slower, especially like uh, some food that we don't want to burn around the edges or we want to heat it up slower um, so it'll heat more evenly. Okay, we can take that and we can click the power level, clear this, click the power level to say 30% and then we dial how much time we want. You're going to need more time if you cut down on your, on your power, let's say three minutes. And then when we hit start, we're only giving 30% of that power. It's only using 30% of the, of the uh, full power to heat that item and it'll heat it a lot more evenly and you'll find that it works a lot better than most other microwaves. You'll really like this microwave. It also has other features like the popcorn, so if you have popcorn you can click on popcorn 
Uh, big bag, if you click it again, you can click on the small bag, bag. that's kind of nice. It has the heat sensors and the genius cooking. It's one, uh, 1,250 watt microwave, again 2.2 cubic feet. An interesting item on Repo Brain that you might want to check out from Panasonic. You can get it on the web, a lot of different sites have it, but it's not typically you don't find it at your regular store. So hunt this one out, get a good microwave when you need one, and remember Repo Brain sent you.